So let's just do that real quick. Oh my god, it's Luigi again. Well, I got my second compass piece. Oh, I found my second piece of the marvelous compass at Plumberry Village recently. Oh, oh boy, I really got my hands dirty with that one. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. It was pretty wild, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Hey, sounds good to me. Which part of my story you wanna hear, bro? Oh, uh, Plump Valley Village, I suppose? Well, like I said, it's a really long story. But here we goes. Once we made landfall on the Strudel continent, we made for Plump Valley Village. Oh, once we got there, though, we immediately noticed that something was wrong. Oh, we learned from the mayor that the town was ruled by a giant snake named Hiza. He said his own daughter was going to be offered up as a sacrifice to this beast too. Oh no! Oh, so, of course, being heroic, I offered myself up to go in her stead. Brave, huh? Oh. Now, the costume was for sacrifices to be dressed up as brides, so I got all dolled up. I was one hot sacrifice, bro. I looked so good I fooled our foes and gone to Hisa's lair. It was kind of, kind of rough fighting in that, in that gun, but I managed. Shiffin really chafes, bro. I finally found Hiza, and the snake had a second head on its tail. Talk about scary! I fainted real quick, but when I came to, I managed to distract both heads. Oh. It reared up, it, it reared up Fang's beard to attack, and at that moment, I definitely lunged left. Left was the witchy, get it? Me. Oh. Escaping mouths smashed into one another, and he vanished in a cloud of smoke. Oh, just like that. Oh. A shining plate fell down on the spot where Hiza's body had been coiled. Yes, another compass piece. I said it, and I point and it pointed east to Circuit Break Island. Oh, just as I was about to leave the town, the mayor asked me to stay and marry his daughter. I thought about it; she was sorta of cute, but we ended up sneaking off the next morning. I mean, I still have to save Princess Eclair from the Chestnut King. And when the marvelous compass activated this time, I heard somebody's voice. It was so beautiful, bro. I'm certain it was Princess Eclair's voice. My heart began to race. That's when I realized it. Princess Eclair, I think I... Oh, oh, I kind of zoned out there. Um, so yeah, we set sail again after ditching town. And somehow we managed to get back here to Rogueport. And here I am. Oh, that was exhausting. Off I go. If you want to hear what I've been up to, just come find me, okay? I'll be around. Oh my god, let's just ask what this bomb did. Hi, I guess. I'm Jerry. I'm a bar bomb from Plump Elephant. Well, actually, you should probably sound like Seinfeld, shouldn't it? I'm a bob -omb from Plump Valley Village. Nice meeting you. Sorry I sound so down, but would you be... You would be too if you saw Luigi dressed as a bride. I'm serious. It scared me. I was honestly scarier than that giant snake thing. What's the deal with Luigi in a bridal gown? I feel I now have a moral duty to stop Luigi from ever dressing as a bride again. I have to protect the world from my fate, and that's why I'm sticking close to this guy. Oh my god. Hell of a story, bro. I'm leaving now. Goodbye. Oh my god. 